This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 1 verse 1. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to read the part that's pertaining to the class today. And it's going to explain how the Hebrew has more force in it than the different translations that we use today, such as the King James Version Bible. That's why we must look into the concordance or the Masoretic text to break these words down. Because if you don't, you're going to create a whole new doctrine. So I'm going to read it. Wherein we may seem to come short of some words which have labored to interpret for the same things utterance in Hebrew and translated into other tongues have not the same force in them. So the translations doesn't have the same force in them. So let's break these words down and let's get into today's class. Shalom. This is your brother Reuben from Nations of Kings and Priests. And first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And today's lesson is a part one of a part three breakdown that I'm going to show you that the full moon is not the new moon. So we're going to deal with this one first. We're going to deal with Ecclesiasticus 43, 6, 7, and 8. We're going to deal with that first. This is the first of a three-part breakdown. So let's get straight into it. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 43 or Sirach 43. And we're going to start at verse 6. Verse 6. And it reads, He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of time and for a sign of the world. Verse 7. From the moon is the sign of feast, a light that decreases in her perfection. Verse 8. The month is called after her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the army above, shining in the firmament of heaven. So, what we're going to do, we're going to break this thing down. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into the concordance to show you what these words mean. And the first thing I want to do is show you verse 6, 7, and 8. Verse 6, we got moon. Verse 7, we got moon. Verse 8, we got month. So let's go into the concordance because the Apocrypha is part of the Old Testament. So we're going to use some of these, some of these uh, old scriptures to show you what these words mean moon and month and in concordance and then we're going to get the proper understanding of Sirach chapter 43 verse 6 7 and 8 so let's get into it okay this is Exodus chapter 12 and verse 2 so we see in Ecclesiasticus chapter 43 and verse 8 it had a word month in it so let's break this Hebrew word month by using Exodus chapter 12 and verse 2 and I'm going to read it and then we're going to go into concordance and break it down. The month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. So let's go into the concordance. And we see the Hebrew word for month is H2320. So let's go into it. Right? And that word is Kodesh or Kodash. Right? So I'm going to go up and it means the new moon, the month monthly, the first day of the month, the lunar month. So we see that word month means new moon, new moon. So let's get some more. Let's get a little bit more. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 16 and we're going to read verse 1. Deuteronomy 16 and 1. Observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover unto the Lord thy God. For in the month of Abib, the Lord thy God brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. So let's go to that word month that we see here again. It's H2320 month. Kodash, same word. Mean 
the new moon month monthly the first day of the month the lunar month so we see that means the new moon okay so let's get some scriptures that's going to show us the new moon and let's see if it had the same hebrew word Let's go to the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 20. Let's read verse 5. Okay. And it read, And David said unto Jonathan, Behold, tomorrow is the new moon. Tomorrow is the new moon. That's the part we want to look at. New moon. Got the same Hebrew word as month. H2320. So let's look at Kodash, the same word. The new moon month, monthly, the first day of the month. So we established in the concordance, new moon. So let's get one more from here. Isaiah, let's go to the book, Isaiah 66. Verse 23. Alright, and it reads, And it shall come to pass that from one new moon, there it is, from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come and worship before me, saith the Lord. Okay, so let's go into that word new moon. It's H23. Two zero. The same word. Two or three witness that the matter shall be established. Kodash. Right. The new moon. The month. Monthly. The first day of the month. The lunar month. So we got two witnesses of each Hebrew word. So we got new moon and we got month. So let's go into the Hebrew word moon. Right. Because the rock. Chapter 43, 6 and 7 say moon. So let's get that now. Now that Dablich, we look at the Hebrew word month, and we looked at the Hebrew word new moon, which is H2320. They're the same Hebrew word, same definition. New moon and new month. Because in Sirach chapter 43, 6 and and seven or Ecclesiasticus 43 6 and 7 we see the word moon in those verses so let's go into the Hebrew word moon to see what is the definition let's see if that word comes out to new moon also so I'm gonna use two scriptures to show you the Hebrew word moon they got moon in it so this Ecclesiastes this is Ecclesiastes in the Bible Chapter 12 and verse 2, and it read, While the sun, or the light, or the moon, or the stars be darkened, nor the cloud return after the rain. So let's go to the Hebrew word, moon. So we see it right here, it's H3394, let's click. All right, there it is. H3394, translation. Y'all reach. Y'all reach. Definition is just a moon. It don't say new moon or it don't say month. It's just moon. So let's get another witness. <clears throat> let's go to the book of Job. Job chapter 25. And let's read verse 5. There it is. So let's read it. Job chapter 25, verse 5. And it reads, Behold, even to the moon, and it shineth not, yet the stars are not pure in the sight, in his sight. So let's read it from the top. Behold, H3390. In translation, y'all reach. Definition moon. I'm going to keep strolling so you see it's just moon. Definition, just moon. So it's not a new moon or the new month. So let's get some more witnesses. All right, I 
I got the second concordance pulled up. All right. Strong's concordance. Okay, there it is. So here we go. This is the second concordance I have pulled up. So let's go into the word moon. Show you what this word moon pulls up to be. All right. We see the word moon is in the Bible 51 times. So let's pull it up. Let's go to where we went. We went to uh, Ecclesiastes, the Bible, 12 and 2. While the sun of the light or the moon, there it is, H3394, H3394, it just means the moon. So we ain't going to spend a lot of time in this. Let's pull up the next one. Let's pull up the word month. Month, there it is. 250 times in the Bible a month. So let's pull up one that we had pulled up in the other concordance. There it is. Exodus chapter 12 and 2. And it reads, This month, see it don't have the same word as moon. This month, H20, let's look it up. There it is. The new moon month monthly. H23. Zero. So let's go into the definition of new moon. Let's get it. Let's type it in. New, new moon. There it is. So we went to 1 Samuel 20 and 5. There it is. And David said unto Jonathan, Behold, tomorrow is the new moon. There it is. H2320. Same uh, Hebrew word is month, which is called dot. So there it is. The new moon, month, month. Now that we got that all established, let's go into the concordant. Now let's go back to the Bible and some different translations and break these things down. But before we do that, let's go into this concordance that I bought from Amazon. Then we're going to go into it. Shalom. So what I have in front of me is this book. It's the Cruden's Completed Concordance to the Apocrypha. First American Edition. So this is the first American edition. Don't look at them angels on there because we know Esau painted the likeness of himself, right? So this book was published in 1806 by Alexander Cruden, M.A., because you can look up Cruden, he, he has a lot of concordance, right? New Testament, Old Testament, but I found the Apocrypha. So we know this is kind of different because we go by the words in the Apocrypha. So I'm in the M section, right? All the M's. You see uh, Mrs., Miss, Moab, Moabites, different M, right? So what I want to do is stroll down here to the word month. I got it highlighted. Month. So we know the word month in the Apocrypha, well, not only in the Apocrypha, in the Concordance. Because we know the, uh, the Apocrypha is part of the Old Testament. So the words don't change because these are Old Testament. So we got month. So I'm going to read the first one. This is first address five and six. In the month of Nisan, the first month, right? So it's talking about month. These are all the words in the Apocrypha that got to do with month. What is month? The new moon, right? See if you read uh, 53, the beginning of the first day of the seventh month, right? It's still talking about the new moon. It don't matter if it's the seventh month or the first month. Right? So this is all talking about months. So I'm going to stroll down over here because it continues on. So we got Sirach 43 and verse 8. That's what I want y'all to pay attention to. Why not verse 6 and 7 is it here? If it's 
if it's talking about the new moon. Right? So let's read Ecclesiastes 43 and 8. The month is called after her name. The what? The month is called after her name. The new moon is called after her name. Right? So let's draw down months, money, and stroll down a little bit. Moon. Moon, right here. These are all the scriptures in the Apocrypha that's talking about a moon. So it, it's a different definition from moon and month. Because the month is talking about the new moon. So when we talk about moon, it's just talking about a regular moon, which is really the full moon. So we go to right here. Sirach, there it is. Sirach 43 and verse 6. six. And I'm going to read it. I hope you can see it. He made the moon also to serve in her season. Right? So it's talking about the moon. Right? So let me stroll down to the next one. Sirach 43 and 7. From the moon is a sign of feast. You see that? The moon. It's not talking about the new moon. So when you read Sirach 40, 43, 6 and 7, why is it separated here in moon? And where say the month, you got Sirach 43 and 8. It's talking about the new moon here. Right here. Sirach 43, 6 and 7 it's not talking about a new moon it's talking about a full moon how do I know that? let's go to Sirach 50 right here, 50 and 6 right he was at the moon at the full so it's talking about a full moon let's go another one Sirach 39, 12 for I am full as the moon at the full. As you see right here, I put English, speak old English. Because we know the King James Bible is not 100% correct because it had errors inside the Bible. So we have to go with different translations. Here at Nations of Kings and Priests, we're not King James only. We compare Bible comparisons, translation comparisons. We go with Masoretic text, the Greek Septuages, the Codex Sinaiticus. So we look up things to make sure they saying what they saying. We go with two or more witnesses, right? So let me read this Sirach 43 and verse 6 through 8. The moon stand at its proper time, a notification of time, and an everlasting sign. So the moon is an everlasting sign, right? For what? Verse 7. A sign for a feast comes from the moon. You see there? A sign from the feast comes from the moon. Illuminating body that wanes when it completes its course. So it's waning. It's waning. That means it's going down on the feast days like the Passover. Okay? Verse 8. The new moon share its character of its name. Increasing wonderfully as it changes you see there the new moon is a new moon in verse 8 then it's increasing increasing from what the dark moon to a full moon because some of the fit these days fall on the 15th day of the month which will be a full moon such as passover such as feast of tabernacles you can look it up in leviticus chapter 23 so i'm gonna read verse 8 again the new moon share its character of its name, increasing wonderfully as it changes. A sign on high for the army, shining in the vault of the sky. Okay, so what I want to look at, I'm going to stroll up a little bit. We got footnotes down here at the bottom. So it say, read full chapter, footnotes. Right? So let's start with A, B, and C. So you got the footnotes here. And when you stroll up, you can see the footnotes by each chapter. Verse 6, you got an A. 
I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna blow it up. Verse six or A. Okay. So we go to verse seven. There's no footnote at verse seven. Okay. Strolling up. Verse eight. We got a B. You can see that B. So verse six and verse eight. There's a footnote. So let's deal with it. So rock 43 and 6, the Hebrew. The moon indicates the season. Now let's deal with B. B. So rock 43 and 8. The new moon. So it's telling you verse 8 is talking about the new moon. The new moon, like its name, renewing itself. How do it renew itself from a dark moon to a full moon and it wanes back down to a dark moon so from here let's go back to the king james version bible and let's read this correctly the correct way it should be read so let's go back all right back to the king james down the correct way because if you don't read this the correct way you can break this down and make a full moon doctrine out of this out of these scriptures so this is ecclesiasticus or sirach chapter 43 Let's read verse 6, 7, and 8 in this proper way it should be read. Verse 6, he made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of time and a sign of the world. You see there? You see verse 6 got the word moon, right? Let's read verse 7. From the moon is a sign of feast, a light that decreases in her perfection. So we see verse 6 and verse 7 had the word moon. It's the Hebrew number H3394, which breaks down to the definition moon. So verse 7 is where the doctrine come in. And they read this incorrectly. And they read it like this. From the moon is a sign of feast, a light. You see that? See that? They say the moon is a light. That's not the way it's supposed to be read. It's supposed to be read like this. From the moon is a sign of feast. Talking about feast days. A light, a light what? Passover, tabernacles, right? That decreases in her perfection. So after the full moon, then it's decreasing. It's not talking about a new moon. Verse 8 is talking about the new moon. So let's read verse 8. The month is called after her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above shining in the firmament of heaven so let's read it again the month see we see that word month is the hebrew word h2320 it's talking about a new moon right there right the new moon is called after her name increasing wonderfully see that that's the part when it's a dark moon it's increasing into the full moon so from here Let's go back and let's finish this off. I'm Brother Reuben from Nations of Kings and Priests. I hope someone was edified. Let's look into these words. Let's not trust men. I hope you pray and understand. With that, we want to say shallow out. We're making moves. We're not breaking no rules. Righteous man standing up. Come on, baby. Fill my cup. We focused on the mission to repentance. Walking with him for submission. Getting my crown. Thanking him now. All praises to the most high. Shout out to the 12 at home or in the jail cell. Jacob coming home and we sipping on that living well. Psalms 147 verse 19. We the only only nation, man, it's basic salvation for no other nation. I say a 45, not confounded or ashamed. I gotta keep it holy.